what are the industries in which your company should be active? A strategic question that could be answered with the industries that are likely to be the most profitable. Porter's five forces model can be helpful in thinking about strategic questions about industry attractiveness. And I will explain the model in the rest of the video. The model, no, no, not this kind of model. I mean like a conceptual model. So the five forces model helps you understand the intensity of rivalry, meaning competition in an industry. Understanding and assessing industry competitiveness will add a valuable perspective to your strategic business decisions. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Michael Porter, who is a famous thinker in business strategy, invented the five forces model. The model focuses on the micro environment of an industry and assesses its competitiveness to derive the attractiveness of the industry, which in business means profitability. Thus Porter's five forces model can be used for various tasks because it assesses the attractiveness of an industry. It can be used to support answering potential questions such as should a company enter an industry? In general, the model provides an overview of the business situation in a given industry, which can then be used for strategic planning. Additional resource-based views of the focal company can be used to complement the five forces model. SWOT or other company specific analysis should be considered to meaningfully complement an industry attractiveness analysis. Now let's have a look at the model. Remember the model takes an industry perspective, which means that your company as part of a strategic group is in the middle, dealing with industry rivalry, so to speak. So your company has suppliers and buyers and the industry is threatened by substitutes and new competitors who might enter the industry. These are the new entrants. The intensity of rivalry determines how attractive or profitable the industry is likely to be. Basically, it assesses how the economic value created in the industry will be divided among the various players. For each of the five forces, there are a few exemplary drivers listed. For example, buyers refer to the bargaining power of buyers, which is driven by switching costs and buyer concentration. Let's take a closer look at these drivers and how they relate to the intensity of industry competition. Here you can see the five forces and all six examples of drivers and their effect on industry rivalry in parentheses. For example, if buyers have more information such as full knowledge of current prices, it will intensify rivalry because buyers can compare prices and choose the best offer they know. This will lead to lower profits for the firms in the industry, considering scenarios such as increased price competition or even price wars between firms in the industry. If we look at the supply side, it is easier to get a good price for your supplies if there is a high concentration of suppliers relative to the number of firms in the industry that buy from those suppliers. Concentration here just means the ratio of suppliers to firms. So if this ratio increases, meaning there are more suppliers than firms, it will reduce the intensity of rivalry in the industry. Just think of how oversupply of a good can drive down prices. The intensity of rivalry itself is also directly affected by, for example, market growth. Higher market growth reduces competitive pressure because the market is still expanding. So all firms can grow and get a piece of the expanding pile. Thus higher market growth reduces the intensity of competition. Substitutes for the industry's products increase rivalry. However, the details are important. For example, a higher price for a substitute product may make buyers less likely to switch to the substitute, thereby reducing competition. In short, anything that makes substitutes less attractive to buyers reduces rivalry. Of course, when substitutes become more attractive, firms compete not only with direct competitors, but also with substitutes, thereby increasing rivalry in the industry. New entrants to an industry are simply more competition. However, this threat is mitigated by high capital requirements, which make it less likely that new firms will enter the industry. In a full analysis, you would evaluate each force and its drivers to get a qualitative assessment of the intensity of industry rivalry, which should be an indicator of industry profitability. 
The assumption is that the higher the rivalry, the lower the industry profits. In another video, I will talk about the empirical support for this assumption, meaning whether there is evidence that this competitiveness profitability assumption of the model holds in reality. Regardless of the outcome, the five forces model is a useful conceptual tool for thinking strategically about an industry, but we need to be aware of its limitations. Related to these remarks, there have been criticisms of the five forces model, and we must acknowledge its limitations if we are to apply the model and want to use it to guide decisions for a specific company. The main criticisms are 1. The assumptions of the model have been questioned, such as downplaying the role of uncertainty in the behavior of market participants, or assuming that market participants operate at arm's length when other forms of cooperation are also common. See this article for more details. 2. The model does not take into account the specifics of the company, such as its resources, but only assesses external forces. This is a good reason why analyses that focus on the company's resources, such as parts of the SWOT analysis, should be included in this industry assessment to make the analysis more holistic. 3. The five forces model does not provide implications on how to deal with the situation after you have assessed your industry. I think the five forces model is a great strategic tool, but it needs to be combined with other frameworks and analyses to be able to deliver more specific implications for a company's strategy and decision making. Thanks for watching. I've also included links in the video description to additional business and marketing materials. Have a great day and see you next time.